You can never avoid an unexpected financial cost, but what you can do is plan for the unexpected. And if you plan for the unexpected, you will be prepared at some level. What we normally hear is to have three to six months of your salary saved away. Uh, I think 12 months is the, is the magic number. 12 months is where my comfort is. And we can work up to that. I don't expect you to have 12 months of your pay, your salary, whatever the case may be tomorrow. It's something that we can work toward. So examples of unexpected costs could be your car breaking down, you need a new transmission, a uh, child or children get sick, um, you may have to, your child or children may have to switch schools because you're moving. All of those things will impact your, your budget and all of those things will impact your cash flow. So how do you address those things? Preparing for the unexpected as best you can. So if you have some funds, some money set aside, you can address some of those things that we're not planning for. And you may not have the entire amount necessary to address it, but having something is better than having nothing at all. What happens sometimes is through our working years or through working, we may have situations where we get raises, where we get bonuses or something like that. I encourage employees, if it's extra, treat it as extra. Another thing to consider is keeping track of, of your spending. Uh, and the word that, that we always hear is budgeting. Things are increasing in cost, gas, food, uh, and there's, there's really no way around that. So how do we strategically address those things? One of the ways is eliminating waste, and, and the easy way to do that is to keep track of all the spending that we do. Sometimes we have a lot of unnecessary spending that we can eliminate if we track it. So budgeting is definitely key. When we talk about diversification, it's more than just diversifying your portfolio, meaning spreading your money among stocks, bonds, and cash, or stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, or ET what they call ETFs. You also want to diversify in what you're putting your money in. For example, a 401k, the bank, uh, mutual funds that sit outside of your retirement plan. You want to make sure that you have funds accessible to you because it gets back to planning for the unexpected. When that unexpected event happens, you want to be able to address that event either partially or in, or in its entirety. So having those funds available to you will help you do that.